Hey what is going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how you can customize your iPhone running iOS 14. iOS 14 is really awesome you can do a lot of things make your device look really really different and in this video I will show you guys a few ways in which you can customize your device and make it stand out. You can see the setup that I've done right here it looks pretty cool so we have no background on the dock custom icons right there and a lot more we'll get to that just in a second but first of all i will show you guys how you can create custom charging sounds for your device running ios 14 so whenever you plug in your device to charge it won't play the stock sound but it will play a custom sound so let me show you how to do that there are a few simple steps it might seem a bit complicated but there's no complication at all it is very very easy to do so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and open the shortcuts app now of course you will need to download sounds that you want to apply like you will find on google different sound effects and stuff like that that you can use as the charging sound of course you download them they are saved on the files app so what you have to do is go ahead and create two different shortcuts the first of them will be called encode so go ahead tap the plus button and tap right here on add action right here search for get file once you search for get file here go ahead and tap on it this is the one right here with the purple icon tap on it and now you're good to go go ahead and tap right here and search for encode this is the one right here base 64 encode and now search once again for another action search for copy to clipboard this is the one so this is done right now tap on next Go ahead and name this anything you want. You can name it encode. Now, once you have that created, what you need to do is go ahead and create the second one. First of all, run this one and go ahead and choose the file that you want to apply as the charging sound. So here I have one, tap on it. We're good to go. Tap the plus button to create the second one. Now we will call this play. So basically this will play the sound. First of all, go ahead, tap on add action and search for text. Add the text right here and go ahead and just click here to the clipboard click paste so you have copied the file with the first shortcut with the action that we ran so we're good right now go ahead and tap the plus button and search for encode here we have the same base 64 encode tap here and now once it's added tap on encode and go ahead and switch to decode now what you need to do is add the last action just search for play sound this is the one right here play sound click next let's rename this let's call this play now once we have both of them created what we need to do is create an automation and this is where ios 14 comes in hand so we have the new automation for when we plug in our device to charge so create personal automation scroll down go to charger click next and here on add action search for run shortcut So here we have a run shortcut now tap on shortcut there and choose play now what we need to do is tap next and here ask before running make sure you have this disabled disable that don't ask click done and now we're good to go whenever we plug our device to charge we will get that charging sound though so let's go ahead and try this out so it should be working right now So you can hear right now we have a new charging sound so that's really really awesome now you can control the sound with the volume buttons here and just make sure when you're choosing sounds to apply here don't choose sounds that are really really long because they will play until the end and you will have the only way to stop them is just turning down the volume of your device now let's get on to the home screen and let me show you guys how to customize the look of the home screen the first thing we're talking about are the custom icons so these can be easily created through the shortcuts app so you can see right here if i tap on it it will run the shortcut and will open of course the app so to create one of these is very very easy go to the shortcuts app of course you can download icons from google just search google you will find a ton of different custom icons which you can add to your apps as icons of course you can even use like your own pictures any pictures you have on the camera roll so just tap the plus button and tap on add action now right here tap on open app open app okay so here we have open app 
click on choose and choose whichever app you want to open so let's so just choose app store in this case and then tap the three dots right here and what you need to do is tap on add to home screen right here we'll need to rename this of course with the name of the app that you want to open so let's just go with app store and now once you have done that tap on that little icon and go ahead and choose a picture from the camera roll which you will set as the picture of this icon now once you have chosen the picture you can see right here you can go ahead and crop this do anything you want click choose click add and now name the shortcut right there click the done button and you're good to go now you will have that shortcut on the home screen of your device so you can see there we have the custom icon tap on it and it will of course open the app that you chose to open so this is how you create custom icons and you can see right here i have two different widgets and right here there's a blank space they are actually empty icons which i have put there which of course allow me to then put the apps right here on the on the lowest row of icon making it really really cool now let me show you guys how you can easily create these blank icons that will allow you to rearrange the icons and the widgets any way you like on your home screen now the first thing you want to do to create blank icons is go ahead and go to the edit mode from here just swipe up on the last page the page that is blank like this and go ahead and take a screenshot now once you have done that you will need to go to safari and open this web page which i will leave linked right down below in the description of the video tap on the upload button and upload that image that screenshot that you just took after you have done that just tap on the send button and it will upload the file and now we're good to go so here we have it it has been uploaded and you can see the icons right here so you can see the placement of the icons of course these are all white but if you have like another wallpaper that's not one color then you will have to be careful where you put the icons and you will have basically to disable the zoom of the wallpaper when you set the wallpaper so let's just go ahead and try one here tap right there tap on add one icon and now all you have to do is just tap the share button and tap add to home screen tap add and this icon right here will be added to the home screen so you can see there is the icon and of course you can go ahead and place this anywhere you want and then just create create a blank space allowing you to rearrange your icons any way you like and now let me show you guys how you can remove the background from the dock here and this will also remove the background from the folders now you need to download some special wallpapers here's the website where you can do it from i will leave it linked of course right down below in the description so you have this dark mode and you have this white mode which i have applied right now to my device so tap on all phones right there and it shows you here the instructions so before applying this wallpaper you need to turn off zoom so when setting the wallpaper just keep the zoom off so here have the wallpapers you tap on one of them and just go ahead and save it to your device and you're good to go you apply to your device and you can see right now it will remove the dog background which looks of course really really cool and very very clean now here i have the setup it's all white and of course i have two white widgets here weather line and i have also color widgets now, of course you can basically customize it with the way you like with the colors you like but i just did this one for this video so this is how you can create custom icons custom charging sound remove the dock from the back with the background from the dock and also create empty icons on your ios 14 device so i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you will be able to create some really cool setups on your iphone running ios 14 that's pretty much it all the links that you need will be found right down below in the description of the video i will see you guys on the next one